What's up everybody? Jason from Bronco Solid here. Today we're going to be talking about water pumps. Why do we need to change those water pumps? Well, it's because they break. That's coming up. Bronco Solid. Welcome to Bronco Solid. I've been watching a lot of Peter McKinnon, can you tell? Hey, today we're going to be replacing the water pump on a Toyota Sienna. That's coming up next. Why a minivan? Why are we working on minivans and not Broncos? It broke. Yep, it broke. And that's the people mover. I gotta get it changed. The manual says you have to take the engine out to do this job. That is not true. I've done this job twice. Yeah, I've done it twice. I've done this job twice. All you have to do is remove an engine mount, prop the engine up on a jack, and you're good to go. Here's the process for how to get it changed without removing the engine. First step, always disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. We don't want anything energized. Drain the coolant, and then you'll be able to reuse it after we're done with this job. Be sure you support the engine with a block of wood on the jack, because we're removing the engine mount. You're gonna to wanna to remove the engine mounts right here. They attach here and here. This is a good trick right here, the double wrench method. You can pop a couple together to get a little bit of leverage on it to this hard to reach nut back here. It's a little time consuming, but when you don't have room, it really helps. With the motor mounts out of the way, you can proceed to remove this piece right here, which is held in by bolts all the way around the outside. Now with all those bolts loosened and removed, out comes the bracket. Remove the hose from back here on the thermostat housing and the upper and the lower mounts and this will come free. This part right here slides off. This pulley has to come off the water pump before it comes out and I'm going to undo these bolts right here and take this pulley off before the whole water pump comes out. And I'm gonna do that with the belt engaged. It's probably not the best on the bearing to do that, but I'm just gonna do that because I actually have the leverage to be able to loosen these. So these are loosened, and now the belt's gonna be coming out. I'm gonna take the tension off this belt, and we're gonna remove this accessory belt. Now these pulleys are gonna to have to come off. Here's a big tip right here. This pulley is threaded backwards. So you're gonna tighten it. You're gonna go clockwise to loosen it. Now I'm gonna start pulling bolts off the water pump. Notice this pulley is loose. That has to move out of the way so I can have access to these bolts. And it's gonna come out when the water pump comes out. Now comes the fun part, getting the water pump and the pulley out. We're going to jack the engine up a little bit to create a little space right here. Let's see if that works. Now that we've created a little room, we're going to pull the water pump and the pulley that's been separated out at the same time. You can see we got some reasons it's leaking here. Gasket failed. A great way to keep all the bolts straight is just to put them in the old pump and when you need them, you pull them out and you got them. I've got enough room here to put the new water pump and the pulley back in. I've got the gasket in place and I'm going to very carefully start putting bolts back in to mate this thing up. So the trick here is you got to leave this pulley loose after you get it in there to have access to put the bolts in. Once you put the bolts in, you can mount the pulley up here and then tighten those down. Put the bolts in and torque them in a crisscross pattern. That way you don't tighten one side more than the other and you get a nice even pressure across the entire water pump. We're torquing them to 69 inch pounds. Now 
We've now got the pulley back on. Had to keep that thing off to, in order to tighten some of these bolts. Now that all the bolts will, now that all the bolts are torqued, we've got it tightened, and we're going to put the thermostat housing back on. Thermostat housing's going back on. It's got an upper and a lower mounting bolt. That's good. You want to make it look all awkward. So we're going to finish putting it all back together, wrapping it up. Be sure to put some thread locking compound on the engine mounts. That's super important to remember. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you would too. Also, be sure to check out my other video on how to convert drum brakes to disc brakes. Thanks for watching and have a good day.